Karen, I understand you have some good news for us today. You've applied for some grants. Why don't you tell us what this grant's all about and what we're going to do with it? Sure. So we applied and we're very excited to hear last week that we were granted the Power of Change um, grant through um, the Rappahannock Electric Company. Uh, they give back a lot, as many companies do, and we're just grateful that they chose our mission to educate um, our communities um, at the surrounding counties, not just Warren County, Page, Frederick, Shenandoah, and um, I'm missing something, Rappahannock. Right. Um, you can't miss Rappahannock because it's coming from And it's coming from Rappahannock. That's what uh, Freudian slipped there. But anyway, uh, uh, Dear Friend is a longtime survivor of human trafficking. And um, she has written a number of books you can find on Amazon. Uh, but one of them, uh, well, two of them are workbooks for people to use uh, to see what the signs of grooming are and to see how easily this um, um, process can happen for kids and even young adults, anybody that is um, vulnerable. Right. And there are many that are vulnerable. So she made these workbooks to be used um, for families to talk together, for um, administrators to um, talk with their teachers, teachers to, to be aware of what's going on with their kids. Um, there are so many signs out there and we miss them because we don't know. Um, also within hospitals, you know, there is, is amazing how many people are being trafficked are going through the emergency room and no one knows that that is actually what's happening to them, that they're actually a victim. There are victims that are in jail right now because they are the supposed repeat offenders of drug addiction when actually they've been drugged to be compliable to their um, abusers and they're captive. They're captive to these. their people. They're 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 slaves. All right, some of these um, signs are kind of. We see it every day, but we just don't notice. Them we don't notice we it, for. and that's the thing. It is in our community. Um, it's in our community, and it's in every community around the world. You know, we always think of human trafficking as like the movie Taken, which was an astounding mm -hmm. movie. It does happen. Kids are taken, and they're brought across the sea. Um, but it's happening right here behind closed doors. And within our community, kids are being taken. And sometimes they're groomed for months, even up to a year. And then they are, they are taken somewhere, and you don't see them again. Um, so it's, it's, it's to spread awareness. And uh, that's been my friend Penny Kay. Hoflinger is her name. Her book about her story is called Children of the Poor. And her workbooks are, uh, one of them is called um, Avoiding the Octopus because the human trafficking arm is like an octopus. There's tentacles everywhere. People you would never imagine are involved. Uh, we have the mayor here. And, of course, both of yeah. you are teachers here at Hilda. Yes. And, uh, and this is where, this is kind of the age group of where a lot of this stuff happens. It is. Uh, mayor, what do you think of all this uh, so I had the opportunity last summer, not just a few months ago, but last summer, I was invited to Rotary to speak about the town and what was going on in the town. And that particular Rotary meeting, Karen and Penny, Penny Ray, Kay, mm -hmm. Penny Kay um, she was also invited to speak. And so she gave a presentation, really kind of told her story, her mm -hmm. her what she had been through um, and talked about their mission, the nonprofit. Um, and it was just, you know, I mean, again, this was last summer, not that we all don't know that it's been going on for a while, but I feel like now there's even more talk about it after the movie Sound of Freedom and, and you just hear more and more people talking about human trafficking. Um, and so, like I said, I had the opportunity to meet um, Penny last summer. Karen and I, of course, worked together here at Hilda J. Barber. But when she shared with me that they were going to get this grant and what they were going to do with the grant. And so it's really going to educate people. And, and I know she had mentioned, uh, you know, getting into the schools, the hospitals, even law enforcement. And so all of those opportunities to just educate people on what to look for. Because people can go to the movie and they can read about it, but really having that information hopefully is going to make a big difference. Because I, I do believe what you don't know you don't know and like she said too just knowing that it is going on everybody's thinking it's just happening in this big city yeah, or, or there New York or yes Chicago or yes somewhere. exactly it happens in all over America. right mm -hmm. and i know that for there was a time where they said like 81 
that that 81 was a more dangerous spot for human trafficking because it goes all up and down and snatch and you're gone. Right. And, you know, there's just too many outlets. So, and I know, um, yeah, I just know well, like some of the colleges along 81, they were always warning the young people there, sure. like you're more at a risk. But anyway. Yeah. And it's all well, ages. Penny K was. Elementary, kids, school, it's college. It's age. all ages. Absolutely. And, and young kids and babies. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it happens. It's really, it's a, it's, it's so sick. Um, it's, but Penny K was rescued actually off of 81 in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania from Wyoming. Right. She had got caught in the trucker trade. So there are, and that's not all truckers. There's plenty of good truckers out there, but there are truckers that are in this human trafficking trade yeah. and they're going from town to town to town like and the they're drug, selling. Like the drug world. Yeah. Okay. It's, well, it's all a part. It all yeah. goes together. The drugs, the, hum, the human trafficking. And human trafficking is not always just sex trafficking. It's, you know, uh, slave labor and um, there's just, there's so many aspects to it and it's all combined and it's all about power. Right. It's all about power and money and, um, just finding those kingpins, as as Penny likes to call them, sure. um, that are, are pulling the strings, and and you know you get caught in that web, and it's hard to get out. Well, so this I grant, have... this the one yes. thing. What's wonderful about this too is is that is to use this money, um, power of change, right? Just the title. So, that's yeah, the what's power, the, power exactly. of change grant. Just the title alone. Um, just like I and, said, being able to educate even in our small community. Um, so I think I'm, I'm so thankful to Rappahannock Electric that they're okay. willing to do this. So. We're going to talk to them in just a We're few minutes. We're going to talk yep. to them in just and, a few minutes. Uh, and I'll just, just say that Penny, um, you know, uh, when she was rescued, didn't want anyone to know what had happened to her. And she said, but God kept nudging her and saying, I need you to be my teacher. And so this is our mission. And, of course, I've been a teacher my whole life and just, you know, it's God brought us together to to work together to get her book out there and get her um, information out there so we save more people. And our tagline for our our nonprofit has always been changing um, our, our families, our communities, and the world one note, one step, and one prayer at a time. And so that's all we can do, you know, one person at a time talking to someone else, educating someone else. So we're hoping we're spreading seeds this way and more and more people will will be aware. And we appreciate all the things that your organization does and we know that you're really active in a lot of things. You have this ballet thing going on, which we'll probably see some in the holiday time. Yes. And the mayor, we appreciate all the work that you do too. So we'll yeah, go ahead you. and get Rappahannock in yes. here. Yep. We'll, we'll get awesome. that check. Thank you. Yes. How are you guys? All right, we've got the ladies from Rappahannock uh, Co-op. Casey, Tracy, tell us what about this, all the stuff that Rappahannock Electric does. And I know this is a big check, and this is not the first one you've given. <laughs> you want to Who get wants it? to go? It, Casey, it, it, tell it. us. <laughs> This is a big check and it is not the first one that we've given. We actually have a member volunteer program called the Power of Change where our member owners can round up their electric bill or make one-time donations and that money is then pooled and given back to organizations looking to make a difference in our local communities. It's amazing how just a few pennies or dollars add up into lots of money when you got lots of customers. That's right. <laughs> how about you Tracy, what, what's your role in all this? So I um, work for Casey Hollins and the PR Communications Department, and I also help support the program of the Power of Change. And I support the CARE Charity Board, which is actually volunteer members that are REC members that review all the grants and then award the applications. All right. Karen, tell us about what you're going to do with this check. Oh, my gosh. So we are so excited. We have two workbooks. One of them is actually in English and Spanish. That one is called um, Avoiding the Octopus, and the other one is very similar to Avoiding the Octopus, but it is specifically for first responders. So we want to make sure we get our books in the hands of uh, Rappahannock, Warren, um, Shenandoah, Page, and uh, who am I forgetting? There's a fifth one. Clark? Frederick County. Oh, Frederick County. Okay. Uh, to anybody that is working with children, um, you know, into our hospitals, into our police stations, into our sheriff's department, into our schools. Um, so we have enough to, I think when we figured this out, I want to say upwards of 800 or so books. Right. So we'll divide those among the counties and then figure out how many we can give to each organization in each county. And uh, our prayer is that everybody will be receptive to it. Um, we haven't specifically spoken to each county yet, uh, but we're praying that they'll be really receptive. I can't imagine that they won't be. And our um, 
my friend who's a longtime survivor of human trafficking, Penny K. Hoflinger, who wrote the books, um, then we're hoping that she can go and actually make presentations to each organization because she's got knowledge the rest of us sure. don't have. Yeah, first-hand knowledge. First-hand knowledge. Mayor, do you want to give me some parting words of encouragement? Uh, I, I just want to say thank you again to Rappahannock Electric mm -hmm. and just the fact that, because I know you guys, um, you all do support the communities in which you serve and... Um, and I, honestly, I didn't know where the money came from, so that makes it even more interesting that it's basically people just rounding up their right. bill and, like mm -hmm. you said, just a little bit here and there That's and up. what a difference it can make. The title is great, The Power of Change. Mm -hmm. um, and just to speak to what Karen said about the different communities, I can't imagine any community not wanting to benefit from this. And that was when we were talking earlier is the first responders. Mm -hmm. So, yes. like she had said, too, just the people that... Um, that would have interactions with possible sure. um, people that have been trafficked. So thank you to Rappahannock Electric. Thank you, thank um, you, thank Having you. organizations support our community is so important to us. You know, we always have to say we can't do it alone. We all have to, we're all, we're all together. We're working on this all together. And so thank you all so much. Yes. Thank you. We're thank happy you. to help. Thank you. And thank you, so Mike, grateful. for for coming and doing this and <laughs> yes, getting the word thank out. You, Mike. Um, and and letting the community know what's going on. Yeah. yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. All right, Casey Hollins, yes. you're with Rappahannock Electric. Tell us a little bit about this power of change that you do, sure. this, this program. Yeah, so the Power of Change is Rappahannock Electric Cooperative's member volunteer program. Our members have the opportunity to enroll and then round up their electric bill to the next whole dollar. They can also set a one-time donation or they can um, increase the donation amount at their choice. Um, so that money is then pooled into a pool of funds where we then award back into our local community. We open the application period twice a year. So application deadlines are February 10th and August 10th every year. Um, and we receive hundreds of applications. Rappahannock serves 22 counties all across Virginia. Um, so we get hundreds of applications and our volunteer care charity board of directors then uh, vets those applications and chooses the award recipients you try to pick all 22 counties get something uh, or do you just we, we would love for it to be balanced um, we don't always have applications from all right. 22 counties but right. we do try to make sure it's balanced and that the money mm -hmm. is staying within the Rappahannock County uh, Rappahannock Electric Cooperative Service Territory so this time around the, the August uh, Time. Tell me how much money you think, of, approximately what we raised this, this time. Uh, we uh, awarded just over $137,000 right. um, to dozens of organizations. Uh, in, in, actually, in October is when we sure. made those announcements. Yeah, we, It does a lot of good work. How did you come up with the name of this, Power of Change? The Power. So like the power. I know where that came from. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So um, the organization originally was called Operation Roundup. Um, but we wanted people to understand the impact that their donations really had. So we did play off of yeah. power as your Ch local power change, company right. and change, right? Because your spare change is changing people's lives across our service territory. Yeah. Imagine how those few pennies and dollars add up it does. so much. It does. On average, uh, the annual contribution from a member is around $6. And that is... Uh, a small amount, but again, it's really having a significant impact when it's pulled together with currently over 31,000 REC members. Um, so that allows us to be able to give back hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. Great. So I'll get a link and I'll put it in the story sure. about how other organizations can get in touch of Rappahannock Electric. Yeah, and it's easy actually to find information about this program because we have a uh, URL that's thepowerofchange.org. I can't beat no. We appreciate everything Rappahannock does. Thank you. And we really appreciate you keeping the lights on. Thank you so much. We're Thank happy you. to be a part of the community.